How's it going guys, Sir Teapot here. Today we are back with more Story of Teapot. And today, I don't know what we're doing today because it looks like a, can't really see outside, a really dull day today. Um, it is slightly spitting up, took some rubbish out this morning and I got caught in it a little bit. Um, but we've only been up like maybe 10-15 minutes and it is currently, well no, we've probably been up a bit longer than that actually because it's, it's now 20 to 12. Been up about 40 minutes, bloody hell. Didn't realise how long we've been awake. We've just been talking this morning and just chill out, chilling out a little bit and stuff like that. Uh, been playing with Evie a little bit. Um, and obviously give Evie a bottle and stuff like that as well. Um, but like I said, don't really have too much planned. Gonna probably order some food soon. Um, don't know what we're gonna be having. I kind of want fish and chips, but we'll see what Kim wants. And we'll go from there because I usually go off Kim, what Kim wants. And then I order our same menu because I am... I'm a simple guy. I want... Either fish and chips, chicken burger, a wrap, and that's usually about it. If if in ninety nine percent of the time, a takeaway will sell either a burger or a wrap. So I'm usually all right. Uh, <clears throat> so I actually just let Kim pick the restaurant or takeaway, and then I go from there. Um, so when she comes back down, she's just currently upstairs sorting stuff out. When she comes back down, I'll order some. We're gonna order some food, and I think I'm gonna play. I'm going to maybe play some more Yakuza today because I do fancy playing it as well. Uh, so it should be quite fun to play again today. Um, and I think that's really about it. I'm going to show off the um, ecosystems as well if I remember today because it's been a long, long time since you guys have seen them. So I thought it's about time that um, I actually showed them off to you guys again as well. So food has um, not long arrived. Uh, like I said in this last clip, we did order some food. Uh, Kim's got a panini, uh, but she's upstairs just putting Eva to bed at a minute because Eva decided to fall asleep as soon as food arrived, which is kind of typical. And I've got um, fish and chips with gravy because I'm a big boy and I need a lot of food. Not really. I'm already struggling. I've only eaten like a quarter of it, maybe just over, like just maybe a half of the chips. Like I'm already kind of struggling, so I'm going to dive into my fish, get it down me as quick as possible before I become over first. And uh, yeah, Kim's having a uh, chicken tikka panini. Uh, I think it is, so hopefully she likes that. And yeah, this so far is actually really, really good, so I'm quite happy with this purchase. So it is uh, currently feeding time for Evie, and uh, we're sat in a different spot today. We're sat in the middle of the room rather than on, on the sofa. And uh, she's having Sunday dinner, I believe it is. Oh no, wait, chicken dinner, which is technically, I'm pretty sure it's called Sunday dinner on the packaging, but chicken dinner kind of thing. But she's having technically Sunday dinner on a Buddy Tuesday. Sorry about the brightness of the sunlight as well behind us. It is a bit bright. Even no, no reaching for the butt. You can't feed yourself yet. Even though you can feed yourself Bicky already, but uh, you can't feed yourself food, proper food yet. She has always. She keeps trying to like grab the spoon and try and feed herself all the bloody time. She's a little monkey with it, but she seems to really like this as well. She's absolutely basically begging for it. You all right? Not go down wrong a little bit. Yeah, but she has got a lot on her face today, so she's been a little bit of a muck pup, but. She'll more than likely end up finishing all her food, but you'll see at the end of it how much ends up all of her face as well. So Evie has um, not long finished her food, <clears throat> and to be fair, honest, she didn't have um, too much. Of, uh, she didn't leave too much. She didn't finish it all though, but it was quite a hefty amount, a hefty jar to not to a normal amount. So I'm kind of not surprised that she didn't finish it all. But she, uh, the juice that we uh, bought the other day, she's uh, now trying. As you can bloody tell, she bloody likes it. She's there like, ah, oh, give me more, please. So she seems to really, really enjoy it. Her first reaction was uh, quite funny, but I didn't manage to get it because uh, she was facing the other way. She pulled her right face. Uh, but you never know, knowing, knowing even like a few days, she'll end up forgetting what the flavour's like. I'll give it her again and she'll end up pulling the same face again. But she seems really, really obsessed with it, but she seems really obsessed with camera as well. So I'm going to turn it off before she gets any more distracted and ends up spilling the juice all over herself. So we are, well, I am now just uh, chilling out currently. Uh, playing some Fallout 76 by myself, surprisingly enough, because uh, no one's online at the moment. It's only um, 5 past 7 though at the minute, and I'm watching uh, Tom try and do the uh, Damascus uh, challenge in Call of Duty. He's currently on the knives. He's doing absolutely incredible, so I hope he actually ends up doing it soon, because I've been watching for quite a while, to be fair, so I hope he actually manages it, manages it today. But uh, Evie's currently in bed having a nap, and uh, Kim's upstairs playing some Sims. Um, but I don't think we really got much else planned for the rest of the night. Probably might just chill out. Obviously, well, I am chilling out. I'm gonna probably play some bit, play some more video games. Uh, might change it up a little bit later on to something else, but I don't know if I don't know what though. I might play some COD, you know, because Tom might be tempting me. 
but it's one of them. I will probably end up playing like a few games and then stop playing it because I end up getting annoyed with COD. Silly fact, it's quite quite quickly sometimes. So don't know if I'll end up playing it. Knowing me, I'll probably end up just playing Fallout for the rest of the night. So once again, I am back playing some more Fallout 76 with my mates, and uh, it is a little bit late at the moment. It is just about 12 o'clock. And uh, Evie and obviously Kim are in bed at the moment. I think Kim might be playing some games on the Switch, but I'm not quite exactly sure. Um, but like I said, I'm just playing some video games, chilling out. And I uh, think I'm probably going to go to sleep in probably like an hour or so. And I'm just currently watching Ray play some um, Saints Row 3 Remastered. And i got to say, so it looks really, really good. And I might even tempted to buy it myself and maybe even record it. Hmm. So guys, I'm in the middle of um, actually editing this vlog together. I realised that um, I actually didn't do, well, I didn't film any of the ecosystem things I'm going to show you. So before I do the outro, I decided that I'm actually going to show you show you them and see how they've changed. Uh, well, if they've changed at all, really. Um, I've been obviously keeping an eye on them um, for any changes and stuff like that. Uh, this one, which is the second one, um, is... Full of air bubbles now, but I'll show you it properly by turning camera around. So this is what the actual inside of the ecosystem looks like now. It's looking pretty empty as um, you'd expect. With I don't I don't know what happened. I honestly suspect that um, there weren't enough space in it for things. Well, enough enough space for the big creatures of the actual uh, of big or well, the big animals inside or whatever you want to call them. But I still think there is some stuff in there because obviously. It's producing a lot of oxygen, which you, which you can see is actually throwing around a lot of the plant life and stuff like that in there. Um, but it is looking quite cool still. I still like the look of it. I still like just having it on the side just to occasionally look at. Because it is just nice to have your own, like, kind of... Well, your own mini pond, basically, in your own, in your own house, really. Because it's just cool to look at sometimes. But the other ecosystem, um, I think, looks like a better... Aquascape is what the actual term for it is called. Um, <clears throat> but I just think this one just, just looks like naturally cool because it looks like a, the bottom of a pond. But I'll show you the other one. And that's the one I personally think looks a lot more... Well, just looks a lot nicer, really. So this is the um, other ecosystem. And this one, like I said, is, I think looks a lot better because it just looks more like of a, a natural, like river scene kind of pond scene if you get what i mean with all the sticks sticking up like that and stuff like that i think it makes it look a lot more natural but obviously as a turn you'll be able to see all the algae and stuff like that in there that has been produced due to the um direct sunlight obviously from the window that it's getting um but that's what the intention of this ecosystem was once it obviously failed and that's what the plan was to try and see how much algae it can grow by getting giving it constant direct sunlight obviously today it's pretty dull so there's no sunlight for it today but that's where it is at the moment i don't know how long we've had it now i know we've had it probably for over a month now and it seems to be doing quite well and that one seems to be doing all right um, but i am going to get a third one at some point soon and i think i'm going to get a much bigger jar it's just i'm probably gonna i don't know when i'm going to get it i'm probably just going to order it off amazon though at some point in the near future so after all that i'm going to actually outro the vlog now so guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe as well. Also share it with your friends as well because it helps massively. Also down below in the description will be a link to all the social medias in a Discord as well if you'd like to join us on any of them. The links are down below. Also if you'd like to support us as well, we do have a Patreon. So if you'd like to support us, the link is down below for that. Obviously, if you can't support us, we do appreciate that you just watch the videos. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video, and peace.